Good afternoon, I'm Lydia Alcala and I'm at the office of Kenneth St. Pei today, University at Lee Avenue. One thing a lot of people are unfamiliar with is power of attorney. Now, if you have older loved ones, parents, grandparents maybe, um, this may be something you want to look into. Kenneth, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, so a basic power of attorney gives the person who holds the power the authority to act on another individual's uh, behalf and that covers all types of situations. Legally, they can hire a lawyer. Uh, medically, they can make decisions. They can do banking and uh, you know, dispose of real estate or all types of measures. It's important because um, if that person becomes incapacitated and they can't make those decisions on their own, then there's no one to act on their behalf. Right. Now, what happens if you don't get power of attorney? If you don't get power of attorney, then you're facing a much more expensive uh, proposition. You're going to have to file what's called an interdiction with the court, go to court, um, hire a lawyer, spend thousands of dollars, and, uh, and have a judge appoint you as what's called a curator, which is basically a power of attorney, but a formal power of attorney through order of the court. Now, how can people go about getting power of attorney? Well, there are many, many lawyers out there who do power of attorneys for individuals, and, uh, and it's not a difficult process, and it shouldn't be very expensive. Uh, I do a few of them here, but it's not really the main thing I do. I do see it as a necessary thing, though. If you have older loved ones, you may want to look into power of attorney. It will be very beneficial instead of going through that long process in the court. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right. Thank you. We'll be right back.